Hello everybody and welcome to the Real Farm First Look video. What we're going to be doing is basically playing in career mode and seeing how far we can get in this very first episode of the development version of uh, Real Farm. Obviously this is pre-release, this is early access because the game isn't actually out until the 20th of October. Um, definitely worth checking it out on Steam if you would like to get a copy of this. Also, I may be doing a giveaway in the future as well, so stay tuned. But first, before we do start the proper series, let's get cracking with this one-off first look video. The options are all set, um, and really, all we have to do is get straight into it. So as long as I've, as I've been told that as long as I do easy difficulty, I'll be fine. <laughs> I think we're not allowed to do anything else yet, as it is the pre-release version. So easy it is. Sounds fair enough to me. Um, in an easy game, your starting capital is a gift. The maximum loan amount is higher, and you pay less interest over it. Product prices are low, and market prices are high. And it has to be career mode as well, I've been told, just for this first video. The residual value of your equipment will... I've missed it. Maintenance cost increases over time. Consider replacing older equipment to keep these costs low. Complete more jobs for a single farmer to bring down the price of land. Matt Davis, hello, how are you? Hey there. That was a terrible accent. My name is Matt Davis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Matt. This must be your first day in town. It is. If you do your best on your first job, you might become my protege. Oh, nice. Well, here we are. Let me just change that mouse sensitivity. Here is our pickup. Here is the environment. It looks quite nice. Um, obviously, I'm going to leave my opinions to myself because I want to just see exactly what everybody else thinks without me influencing you first. Um, I will give my opinion on the game later, um, but I can't really give my, my true opinion until the final version, as this is still the development version. So, um, yes, no opinions are going to be given at this early stage. Now we do get given um, some objectives first of all just to help us on our way. Um, basically to begin with we're just starting off an objective uh, to do with I think it's a bit of ploughing. So quite simple. Let's just reverse into here. The tractor is just there. I'm going to jump out. This is the interior view obviously. Um, quite clean and tidy. This is the exterior view. Right, press Q to get out. And here is our tractor. The Triton LX300. Nice weathering on the tires and stuff. Right, okay. Now, what we have to do is hold down left alt to open up the information panel, uh, or basically the control panel for each vehicle. The beacons, we can turn the beacons on. Everybody likes beacons, don't they? I do. So, yep, let's uh, go and attach this thing to a plow. There may be a few glitches in this early stage, um, I've been told, so please do not base the game purely on the development version. Right, first of all then, uh, the, the front weight needs to be attached. So to activate the front hitch, press number one. There we go. And then we have to activate the rear hitch by pressing number two once we are aligned with the uh, plow. Now I haven't got the steering wheel set up. This is purely done with the keyboard. You have to wait for it to fully fold up before we can move, otherwise it can fall off because we're rushing the job. Right, okay. There is the diesel bowser just over there. Drive to the field. Quite a busy road to be crossing. And that is a nice big plow. I did try to find an option for adjusting the mouse sensitivity. I couldn't find one. Um, I, I would like to have one, really, because it's very sensitive. My mouse does have its own independent mouse sensitivity setting, and it's on its minimum. Um, but it is still a bit too harsh, the movement. Anyway, here we are, over at the field. Plow the field within the time limit, open the vehicle controls, and lower the hitch to start plowing. Right, I think we'll start over here, then. Notice we've got quite a lot of um, different controls and heads-up display icons at the top, including our money. You can choose between euros and dollars. Um, I couldn't find, it, certainly in this version, um, pounds, Great British pounds. 
so I think we'll stick with dollars which is the default right if I just press control left control uh, we should be able to rotate this plow in a certain direction I might have done it the wrong way uh, yes I did okay fool <laughs> let's go this way that's where we want to go right let's begin plowing and yes there is uh, basically you can plow anywhere you don't have to be within the field boundaries to plow but you can see the field progress bar just below the learning the basics description um, so if you ever do get lost then you can read that or you can check on your progress there but it should be fairly self-explanatory certainly at this early stage I believe this is based on a class tractor it certainly looks like one, it's like a class axiom um, anyway yeah let's focus on the job in hand if we press that one again I believe yeah it does, it just takes a bit of time it does uh, fold itself up so we'll turn and we'll do the next pass of the field yeah it's good that it doesn't rush the lowering of the uh, plough, it does it actually at a fairly decent speed we don't actually need the beacons on it, it's just it looks fancy everybody loves beacons the fuel tank gauge looks pretty decent too um, and also the speed um, I suppose it would have been nice to have an engine RPM as well but it's fine now obviously when this uh, tutorial is out of the way depending on how long it is we'll take a look at some other stuff as well if it's quite a long tutorial then yeah we'll just uh, you know, we'll just, we'll just finish the video at the end of it because, yeah, we, I think we'll have uh, we'll have seen enough for a first hit video, and we'll be wanting to start the proper let's play. Now, I don't know if there is a leeway. I don't know if we have to plow absolutely everything, or if we can just plow a certain amount. Obviously, we're going to have to do the headlands if we do have to plow everything to do this job properly. Uh, you can see the plow textures there. You can obviously see the furrows. Not 3D, they're 2D. But it is quite rare for a farming game to have 3D textures. 3D animation of the furrows turning over. It's not a very neat job from me there, but not to worry. Just trying to rush through this because I want to obviously see as much as possible in this video. Um, I'm going to continue, and when we get closer to the end, I'm going to return, and we will see the conclusion of the field. I don't know how well I'll have done, but it's still going to be fun to see. Right, I'll see you in a second. Right, well we are nearing the end, obviously my ploughing skills are Atrocious, but no, we mustn't uh, look at that too much. Let's just take a look at the game itself, rather than my driving. Right, so the, the progress bar is pretty much full. Um, in fact, any second it's going to flick over and hopefully say I've done a good job, even though I haven't. Wow, you're really talented at this. Now return the equipment. Is that sarcasm? I know, it, yeah, it wasn't that good. You mustn't make it sound better than it is it, it was a terrible job really anyway yeah let's move away from this field we need to go and return the equipment to the farm so off we go there is music playing in the background but you can disable it if you want to I've just basically knocked the volume down to about 5% or something well here we are back at the yard let's just drive into the box where we have to go to well that went great. I've got another job for you listed on the, my job board. Make sure to accept it before somebody else does. Uh, you've already done? I didn't even finish my nap. Why were you sleeping? Maybe it's time for me to sell off the farm. Things are going too fast these days. We get a reward. Lovely. Saving data. So yeah, obviously the weather is uh, overcast it says. It's quite sunny. Um, but if we want to get another job, we can do. There is a pressure washer just here. 
and it's not for show you can actually wash tractors with it if you want to um, I'm assuming that is fertilizer seed uh, water just over here so all the triggers we require I'm not entirely sure of this one possibly feed um, yeah probably feed going over here we have got I think it's manure or slurry yeah slurry just there a pit just over there some storage sheds a barn um, yeah another pickup our pickup over there um, and our house for going for a nap so yes what we need to do now is go over to the job board which is just over here we mustn't get run over and let's view the jobs so we now need to cultivate right okay now we do get 25 minutes for this job which is very generous I'm guessing we use our same tractor again we'd have to use anybody else's so the fuel should still be oh no we do use our own just over here the mammoth quite clearly a fence um, but even so it looks pretty decent what looks like on the inside oh wow lots of controls but I suppose yeah these tractors these days they are just lots of controls so the front way needs to go on first hitch that on and then the cultivator which is just over here put on second good grief it's fully mounted I was not expecting that wow okay well that's on now so let's go to the field I think it's going to be the same field the reason why is well obviously we've just ploughed it and I think it's probably just sticking with the theme of working the land in the same field it would make perfect sense instead of going to cultivate another different field um, but I'm hoping to explore the map as much as possible as well I don't know if it is going to be in this first look video we may well just be trying out the different jobs um, but even so we will definitely explore the entire map in either this video or another one okay so I think it's going to have to be unfolded first yeah there we go so it looks like unfold and lower are the same thing I would guess maybe not alright activate first there we go right so yeah we're breaking up the soil the plough texture and we are cultivating it ready for the seed this tractor should have a beacon as well very nice indeed right so I think what I might do is actually just sort of stick with my idea of going down one side and then going up the other it does tend to work very well so if I go up here and come back down the other side of where I've just been um, I think that's going to get the job done as fast as possible Cultivate the field within the time limit, open the vehicle controls first and fold and then activate the cultivator. It told me everything anyway. <laughs> I didn't really have to work it out for myself. I really do try and think too hard. It's a tutorial, of course the game is going to tell you. <laughs> anyway, I've done it now so what we need to do is just get the job done and move on to job number three. And actually, it, does, it doesn't want the entire field to be done, but it does want the majority to be done. There isn't much leeway, so you really must try your best not to miss anything. Otherwise, you may be going around trying to finish off the final pieces. But equally, just like the first job, we're going to just uh, jump cut. And I will return when we are pretty much done. And once again, we are virtually done. I wonder what the next job is going to be. I would certainly guess it's sowing the seed. It would make sense. Unless we're going to deviate and do something completely different. It just depends what kind of path.
path the game is going to lead us down. Um, but I would certainly expect to be doing sewing. Uh, I'm getting paid for each job because this isn't even our field, I don't think. So that's fair enough. Oh, that was a little accident I had with the plough. So ignore that. Let's just begin this final pass and it should just finish off by saying yay you're brilliant and stuff hopefully it does do it's very reassuring um, but obviously you have to wait and see they might say it's terrible it could be terrible great job you're getting the hang of it yeah he's very kind this man um, got another job for you but first return my equipment okay well I suppose it's only kind to uh, just finish off anyway so we finish this piece here and then we'll return to the yard and yeah, just do whatever it wants us to do. Very interesting to see. In fact, I'm going to go out a different way. Lift it up first and fold it up. I'm going to go out this way. Quite like to see what the crops themselves look like. So Looks like a field of wheat or barley. It might not be possible to get out actually because we're obviously in the middle of a mission. But, oh, is that? I don't know, it could be maize, I'm not too sure. But you can actually view the field information, and each field has got a lot of different statistics, which is actually very nice. How much it's been ploughed, how much it's been cultivated, soil moisture, soil nutrition, and uh, infestations. So it looks like it is a bit infested. So we won't be buying it, not that we have the money anyway, but um, yeah, just the fact that you can view different statistics about each field, that is very nice to see. Obviously keeps you on top of your jobs, uh, making sure that each field is productive and everything, rather than just simply having a field which you could buy and then that's it. You actually have to make an effort with them. So good to see that the game is doing that. And here we are, back at the yard. Here is your machine back, Mr. Davis. Uh, thank you for bringing my machine back in one piece. Got another job available on my job board if you're interested. We are indeed, and thank you for the money. Yeah, good. And it does save after every single job, um, which is obviously very, very useful because the last thing we want is for us to lose our progress if we had a, a system failure or if we had a power cut or anything. I think the more times the game saves, the better. You can't really save too much. Right, so it is indeed sewing. It looks like we're going to be using this white looking tractor, maybe a grey tractor. There is a beacon of light which marks where we need to go so you can never get lost. Um, but bear in mind this is still the sort of, yeah, it's the tutorial. So you don't actually have to play like this if you don't want to. Uh, right, let's jump into the tractor. And here is the sea drill. Yeah, so that in front of us there is pesticides. And there is the drill hooked onto the back. Drive to the field. Looks like quite a wide drill when it's unfolded. Um, looks like a voucher or something. Uh, it looks like it's going to be wheat, judging by the icon which it's showing. Not that it matters. Just a guess, that's what I would say it is. So once again, let's unfold the machine and then engage the PTO or hydraulics, whatever it's going to run on, and we'll be off. Okay. So first, unfold. Secondly, select seed, which is there. It's going to be wheat. Okay, it's it's not too wide then, but it's, it's, it's okay. It shouldn't take us too long to drill the field. And you can see we're actually consuming the seed as well. It's not like an endless supply. I've got to say these textures actually are quite impressive for the drill. Um, you can see that when the sort of cultivating piece goes over the, the soil, it changes it there, and then when the actual drill and cultures go over, 
it changes the texture again. So you actually have two texture changes in one part of the drill. And yeah, I quite like that. It actually shows that something is happening. So this tractor is actually a Caldera N120. Caldera is something to do with volcanoes, isn't it? I think it is. Um, anyway, that's kind of beside the point. <laughs> this is agriculture. Let's focus on the job in hand. Um, so yeah, we're about two thirds of the way done. Not bad at all. Uh, I am actually taking the approach of going around in circles. Probably shouldn't do. It's just it does take a while to turn around each time. So I'm just trying to get the job done. So I'm trying, to, as I've said, trying to do as many jobs as possible in this first look video. Now, if we look at the top of the um, heads-up display there, at the top of the screen, you can see all the information about this field as well. It looks like it's fairly free of bugs and any kind of uh, nasties that we don't want in the field. Crop moisture is good. Seems like quite a healthy field. And obviously, yeah, the drilling is virtually done as well. So any second, he should turn up and say he likes the job. We will see. Alright, so just this headland that needs to be done, neatened off. And come on, come on, he's going to do it. He's going to appear to congratulate us. He didn't appear. He's let me down now. There he is. Thank you. Right, well we better return his machines again. So I'll fold it all up, and actually, I think he made us do everything without. Yeah, we we had to do everything. There was no leeway at all. Cross the road, and I think we're going to stop here because if everybody wants me to do more videos, then we will do, and that'll be very soon. Excellent. Well, you know what they say. However. So is whoever, whoever, however, so is generously will also reap generously. So check the job board for your next assignment. And we get a bit of money there too. So that's all very nice. We're actually gaining quite a bit of money from doing this. I'm going to check the job board because I'd like to see exactly what the next job is. Um, but we won't be taking it until next time. Right, what's going to be? I would guess at... Pesticide, fertilizer, that kind of thing. Harvest. Wow. It's actually harv. Oh, you know what? Forget it. We're going to do it. We're going to have to do a bit of harvesting. No way could we have a first look video and not even set foot inside a combine harvester. I was expecting it to be fertilizer. And if it had been, I would have just put it into the next video. So, uh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, I need to get in. Get in! Uh, maybe it's from the other side. Could be. From, there we go. Okay. There is the header. Big combine. Very nice. Looks like a Lexian. But it is a comet. And it has an orange header. So if that is going to be used in the same field which we've just been working in, it's going to make incredibly short work of it. Very short work. Hmm, not being left with much space here. Okay. Right, well, let's go to whatever field it is. I think it is the same field actually. make it around there. Okay. Back in cab view. Let's get this wheat harvested. Oh, there it is. Lovely. Look at this beautiful field of wheat. Is there crop destruction? No. Not in the development build anyway. So I'm assuming there's going to be quite a few controls that we have to use here. 
Um, there'll certainly be the auger, the PTO itself to engage the threshers and the header. I don't know if the lowering of the header is a separate control as well. But all shall come clear. Um, but yeah, this is just going to zoom. Surely it's going to zoom through this field because it's a big combine. I thought it would do. Um, yeah, it's doing it pretty fast. Where's my chaff? There's a beacon on here too. Two beacons. But there's no chaff coming out the back. Which is possibly something that's going to be added in later. Here's an inside view of the combine harvesting. Virtually done. Probably just go back down that side, then that piece there, and we'll be finished. Well, I don't know if there is going to be a reason to put the auger out since it is a mission, so I'm going to put it out anyway. See the animation on it. It's a very long auger. Maybe this combine is capable of having an even wider header. Might be the reason why. Um, but yes, we are, as usual, almost finished. And I have made a mess. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very messy my harvesting, but still, it is virtually done. Put the pipe back in. Right, job done. Come on, please tell me I've done a good job. Thank you. Right, good. Let's take it back to the yard as usual. Turn it off. And just get our reward. And then we're going to call it a day. Um, but certainly for the pre-release sort of uh, early access version, it's given us a good idea as to what the game is going to be like. Obviously it's not the finished game, so please don't base it on this entirely. But I'm sure the publishers or the publisher and developer will be very impressed um, to hear your comments and suggestions and if you're going to leave a criticising one about my driving then uh, yeah, make it constructive because there's nothing worse than uh, if it is a criticism uh, something which is just, you know, pointless like that's bad or it, well even if it's a good comment actually don't maybe don't just put it's good maybe, um, you know, point out what you really like about it and maybe put some more suggestions in as well. The more constructive comments you can put in, the better. And in, in the long term, the better a game will be because of it. So there we go. Thank you. You may be my successor. It's time. Yeah, good. Right, okay. Good. Buy your own tractor. So we're finishing off at the stage of buying our own tractor. So if you want me to do another episode, um, that's what we'll be starting off with. And I suppose, actually, we'll be buying our own field as well very soon. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.